Hello, this is Andre Robles here at Choice Lithographics, and in this video we're going to show you how to set up a file for foil and emboss. First thing you want to do is create a new swatch and name it foil. Make it a spot color, select OK. Make another new swatch and name this one emboss and make it a spot color as well. Next you want to go into your layers and create a new layer, call it emboss, hit OK, then make another layer, name it foil, and hit OK also. Now in this example, we're going to make the foil choice lithographics. Take your type, choice lithographics, and select it. Do a copy and paste into your foil layer. Do a paste in place and it'll fall in the exact location. Then color it with the spot color foil you created in your swatches. And that's your foil plate. We want to emboss the little logo left of choice lithographics. However, we don't recommend embossing certain images as our finisher company requires the embossed vector files to be 1 16th of an inch smaller. For example, if we embossed the logo of the mouse with the knives protruding, the image would end up looking like this. A good amount of the image is lost. However, with the smaller logo, we don't lose any of the image and the finishing company is able to get the final size exact. Nevertheless, we'll show you how to do this to the image if it was just a little larger. First, you would want to open this file in Photoshop, select the clipping path, make a new selection, save that selection, call it emboss, take that selection, hit modify, then contract 5 pixels, that's about a 32nd of an inch, hit OK, make it a working path, save it, and call it emboss. Now go to the file, export paths to Illustrator, select your emboss path, call it emboss, now here's the file opened in Illustrator that you created. Create a new swatch, call it emboss, make it a spot color. The same color that is in InDesign that you'll be placing this file in. Select the path and change to emboss. Now you want to place the emboss Illustrator file right over the image exactly. Here's the emboss created at 1 32nd of an inch. That's how you want to set your file up for emboss and foil. Please feel free to call us at Choice Lithographics with any concerns or questions that you may have. Thank you very much.